Hey guys, just after finishing today's review, Moboy came out with yet another new watch. Want to tell you about it up front before we start. TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra. Yes, without the word GPS on it. It's a full cellular 4G connectivity and it's revolutionary in that you don't need to put a separate SIM card and SIM number in here. It's going to marry up with the SIM card in your phone and it'll use the data minutes and text from your existing mobile plan on your smartwatch. It's only in Europe right now, I believe UK and Germany, but it's coming. So what is with all of this naming convention then? We have too many crazy names. The TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra is 4G LTE. The TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS is Bluetooth but they both have GPS. So this is really the TicWatch Pro 3 Ultra 4G LTE and Bluetooth. They both have GPS, but the company's referring to the one we're reviewing today as the Ultra GPS without the 4G LTE. And lastly, I want to leave you with a bunch of links because I didn't have them in the video. If you're going to buy this watch or any of the tick watches, use this particular link, bit.ly, uh, Movoy Tick Watch. That'll get you over there. Whatever discounts I've got, we can try to get applied there. And check the show notes if there's some codes you have to enter. In addition to that, you can take an extra 5% off your purchase with this code. K-I-S-Z-O-D, all caps, or use this link bit.ly slash TickWatch5 off. Greetings and welcome to Smartwatch Ticks. We're a YouTube channel on the web at smartwatchticks.com. We are back with a TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra. This is the Ultra GPS, slightly different from the original, and today's video is to tell you what those differences are and whether you need or want to pay the extra money for the Ultra. In a nutshell, everything new is listed here, and we're going to cover this. If you want a full, deep review of this watch in general, then head on over to uh, our channel where I've got the actual full, geez, 45-minute review of the Pro 3 GPS, and it's extensive. This watch, folks, is almost identical across the board we'll be showing you that and uh, size shape weight contents everything there's just a few slight differences so let's go over those price isn't one of them check this out here is the tick watch pro 3 ultra coming in retail at 299 these are all the specs we'll go into that in more detail and they're selling at the same time on the same website the non-ultra version for the same money. So would you want to pay for these features when you could have these features? No. You're probably going to want the upgrade if they're the same price. What I'm here to do is help you decide whether uh, the price difference, because of course this is going to be lower in price overall. 20 bucks, 30 bucks, 50 bucks. How much difference does it need to be for you to toss away the features of the Ultra in exchange for getting the basic one? In other words, do you need all the fancy features that the Ultra has to offer? Here's the overall specs. Dimensions, weight, color, case basically uh, is pretty much the same. Now, the Ultra has the anti-fingerprint Gorilla Glass on it. That's a bit new. It's got this new fluoro rubber interchangeable band, and it lasts longer. Uh, definitely a good upgrade there. Both got the same Wear OS by Google. Both will be eligible for upgrade next year to Wear OS 2. So you're good there. Same uh, 4100 uh, Qualcomm platform with dual processors. So it operates similar to the 4100 Plus, except because of the dual layer display, it's more efficient. So actually, the basic 4100 with the dual processor gives you a much longer standby battery life. RAM, ROM is the same, display, pixels, AMOLED, everything else is the same, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, same, same for the GPS, NFC the same. Really not a lot of difference there. When you start to see differences is when you get a little bit into the sensors here. And we'll look at these. Um, 
There's also a hidden one I'm going to tell you about that you don't see anywhere in the literature. So stay with us. Uh, battery capacity uh, is the same now. This uh, Ultra has the mill standard 810G spec added. They're both IP68, both pools swimmable, but it's a little bit sturdier. Well, a lot sturdier when you have this mill standard. So you get the corning glass, you get the solid case, and you get built to a, 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 a federal military standard all in, uh, in the whole thing at once. So what are a couple of the things that are new? Well, this is one of them. You get a specialized reading of your mental health and your energy level. It's using heart rate variability. That is not on the basic, but it's built into the ultra. And it gives you a synopsis in the moment of where you are physically. So if you tend to push yourself or you're in a stressful job, those kind of things, you might want to have this information at your fingertips. And it's only available with this ultra. You also have the 24-7 uh, heart rate uh, monitoring and the ability in only the ultra to detect if you have uh, an irregular heart rate and it's not really going to diagnose anything for you but it's going to give you some advice as to whether you might be uh, experiencing a pattern like AFib and, uh, and update you about that 24 7 daytime nighttime so yeah depending on what your situation is that's a really uh, powerful thing to uh, have access to as well let's dive into the watch it's right here i powered it on while we were sitting here talking and i've got the first watch face up we'll do the quick unboxing for you slide this out of here you've got uh basic little product safety information things you've got this big brochure that basically this one where does it start it tells you about the buttons and it's in multiple languages so english is right here telling you the power button and basically how to turn it on and then the sensors the speaker the microphone it's not really that much informational and again, all these are different languages, so all you need to do is read the little sentence at the top and how to connect it to the Wear OS by Google that you install on your Android uh, phone, and I think iOS as well, and you just simply download that from uh, the Play Store. And then you've got this standard charging connector that's become pretty much universal, my Movoi, and uh, yeah, it's strong enough to hold the device. A little bit of silica gel to keep it all dry, and that's pretty much it inside the box. You ready to move on? We've got a little cover we haven't pulled off yet. That's not a screen protector, mind you, just a little bit of film to kind of for shipping. you got all the array of diodes on the back, the charger port, and when you bring up the non-ultra, okay, the regular um, Pro 3 GPS, you get uh, a very, very similar back. The casing looks pretty much identical, but this one here is hardened a bit more to the new military spec. The sides showed a microphone, the two buttons, no changes there. Over here, you've got the speaker, removable bands. They say tick watch on them, both of them. This band now, tends to be, they say, uh, better suited for longevity. This one tends to get a little bit worn in here. We've seen that in some of the uh, video reviews online over time. Uh, so you are getting a better band and you're possibly getting a, um, a better overall casing too. You can see they've changed a little bit about the uh, case itself. It's got some edging on it, almost like a Samsung rotating bezel, but it doesn't. And it's got some, uh, the numbers and everything on both of them are right in here as well. But um, that's about it as far as physical differences from the outside. Now, when we get deeper into it, you'll notice that they're saying there's 20 plus professional workout modes in this one. Well, inside secret for you, they've also pushed that to this one. So there's no difference in the modes for exercising between the two. Here, I'll show you what I mean. When you press the lower button on each watch, it's going to take you into your sporting activities. And as you can see, you've got your GPS controlled ones for the outdoor stuff like running and cycling and walking. Then you get down into all of this high intensity stuff. 
elliptical machines, trail running, yoga, football, basketball, Pilates, Taekwondo, and badminton, table tennis, skating, all of those are on both watches. Let's jump into some of the differences. Essentials. I'm going to tap this on both of them. And you're going to see that we have the uh, power level on each of them. By the way, I've been wearing this for, oh gosh, almost two days uh, without charging. This one I just finished charging up. You can switch to essential mode on either one of them. But when you went in through the icon, I can switch over here to uh, your setup. And you notice you have auto switch by battery level or auto switch by a timer. You can auto exit the timer, tilt to back up, uh, to light up the backup light, which you wanna have turned on, your date format, and notice that this one, the new one has a thing called background color. And there you go. You got your 18 different colors that you can choose. For photographers and night people who gaze at the stars, you know red is a color you can use that doesn't affect your sight. So I've chosen red for this one. And when we are back here on our watch faces and we set this thing up to go into essential mode, which I can press and hold and tap here. It's going, by the way, notice the font here is set for large. And the font is set here to uh, normal. So just to give you an idea of what the font looks like different, you can switch them any which way you want to. I am going to activate this so that we can go into that essential mode. And as you can see, it's reflective screen. And because we have the backlight uh, activated, I should be able to twist them and light them up. You see how this is red now? And this is lighting up kind of a very soft white color. Well, you have that color available and many, many more with the new um, Ultra. So speaking of astronomy, I got to get you back to this compass watch face. I looked a little more carefully and you see the sun right there? That's the position it's currently in the sky. The moon? Yeah, it's right over here. We're just before the big eclipse that's happening tonight. First longest one in 500 some odd years. And look, that's sunset and that's sunrise and that's the angle where sunrise happens and sunset happens unless it's moon i'll let you know probably tomorrow but wow 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 a compass with astronomical markings on it that follows the sun the moon the rise and the set and i've also got this compass i just been having a ball with this one. Look how smooth this puppy is. Now, I'm hearing rumors, and these are only rumors. I can't confirm them, but there's going to be a LT, a, you know, a regular SIM card kind of a watch coming out, 4G LTE, and that the circuitry com conflicts with the compass. So it might be the compass is pulled from the 4G version, but is going to remain in the GPS version, or it might be uh, pulled from both of them. I'm not sure sure um we'll know as things go along but don't get your heart set on having the compass look at that now it's a little bit more erratic that's an app issue but it's also got a bubble level in the middle so it's sharing the cpu for all of this stuff yeah there's a lot of third-party apps out there but we need to move on the tick health app this is where we're going to see some differences i have it up here already on this one and they're, that's what they look like on both of them. As you can see, when you come down, you get into your calorie stuff, your amount of high intensity exercise, heart rate information, oxygen saturation, and this week's summaries with activities for today. When you're on this one, however, you come down, notice it says 24 hour physical and mental status monitoring. There's my current mental fatigue over the last 24 hours and energy level. That's all brand new. Then you get down to your exercises, heart rate, oxygen saturation in this week. So, and look at this. We got sleep time. Wow, 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 wow. Fun and very colorful too. Of course, that's going to all be in the app as well. But you've got the breakdown of all your sleep information, sleep heart rate, your blood oxygen levels. That is ultra. So how does all this new data look on the app? 
Let's check it out. This is the uh, Wear OS. When you're connected, it's of course going to show you the watch. You tap on it, and it's going to open the Mobvoi app, which is going to contain all of your um, fitness data, health data, and anything else you got synced up with it. Here we are. I've got badges and things that you can earn, but this, this is the new section. Here's this mental fatigue. And look at this. Here's the level. Severe, significant, moderate, slight, or none. Here we are doing the testing throughout the day, and it's giving you a scatter diagram. You can see you've got all this data that it boils it down into an overall summary for the day. Now, here's yesterday. I only started it in the evening, so I don't have a lot of data there, but uh, we certainly got today's data right here. So that's the mental fatigue section. Now the energy level is down below. Look at this. I'm way up there. And then dots here and then here. So fully refreshed most of the time with a little bit of moderate. And I got one exhausted, I guess, when I got up this morning facing the new day. Oh my God, it's a new day. Okay, yesterday... Data was just uh, right here in the moderate. Again, I just started it. So I don't have a lot of data. I wish I did, but I want to get this video up as soon as I can, being that this is a holiday buying season for you guys, and just give you a taste of what this stuff looks like. Of course, you've seen this on the other tick watches. This is your activity, exercise, active hours, walking at least 100 steps, gives you a dark green line on here. Um, there's yesterday, I guess. Yeah, so we've got some of that stuff. And then, of course, the sleep information, which is your awake, your REM, your light and your deep sleep, your stages. Check it out. You also get your average sleep heart rate and a chart to go along with it and your blood oxygen for the night as well. So copious amount of data in here. Overall resting heart rate and um, your heart rate... Uh, track for the day it goes up to midnight and flips over to the next day right and of course you've got monthly and weekly on that too and your blood oxygen again like a scatter diagram showing you in the highest lowest and very low zones i got one blue dot because i'm talking way too fast and i'm not breathing enough <laughs> a little bit of description about it down at the bottom as well and that's what we've got on here i wanted to mention back here on heart rate that you got the heart rate here, but I didn't talk about this. This is this abnormal data section. Now, the good news is it's normal, and I don't have anything to report. The bad news is, well, Uncle Tix is in the zone. Um, I'm uh, one of the ticks who is aging and has to be concerned with things like AFib and atrial flutter, which are different, and you're going to start hearing about that as these devices start to distinguish them. But I don't have an episode to report to you overnight, so I don't have any data. If I get something between now and when they come up with the new Wear OS 2, I'll make some screenshots. And then when we do the review of OS 2 on um, the watch, we'll incorporate that. But just to let you know, this is new, and this is where that special monitoring that's happening for your heart health on the Ultra will appear in the app. And of course, it'll appear on the watch as well. Um, other tabs on here, the device, this is where you have audio recordings. If you've got any, you can do a transcription. Here is one. I actually had an audio, and um, this is the transcription of it. And as I play it, you'll hear it. This is a test of a voice recording, making a tile out of the voice memo app. Let's check it out and see how it's doing. And it goes on and on and on. You get about an hour's worth of translation free. I don't know what it, what happens after that, but that's just a few seconds. And you hit transcribe. It transcribes. It does a pretty darn good job of it. And you've got that then forever. you got watch uh, screenshots that you can initiate and so forth. This is... Um, interesting community area where you have all sorts of featured stuff and you guys actually once you get your watch you can set it up and start making some money you can get a referral program going like mr ticks does and um 
Yeah, you can give out the special code like the one that you've seen for me and that code will be shared with your friends and you can earn some money in return and they get a 5% discount. If you don't have one set up, you don't have yours, please use mine. That helps me out here at the channel to keep the watches coming in. And uh, we have the link in the show notes and I'll show it to you again at the end of this video. But you've got that whole thing going for you and you've got your overall account which is where you have your tick care, where you can have family members follow and receive the data that you're getting on your watch. So if you're putting this watch on somebody that has some heart health issues, which is why you bought it, right? And they and you'd like to monitor them, you can be set up for that. You've got all sorts of other stuff in here. And we've covered this app in detail already on the original TickWatch Pro 3 GPS. Well, there you go. Hope you guys are happy. This is, uh, again, the review is covering the differences between the TickWatch Pro 3 Ultra GPS and the uh, basic TickWatch Pro 3 that we've already reviewed in detail. So if you want to see more of all the things that this one can do, flip over there. I know I'm back to the compass, but did you realize that on Wear OS, some apps can be installed as a watch face? And this happens to be one of them. Yeah, love this watch. I really do. I'm going to be playing with this a lot. And you're going to be able to get yours too quickly if you jump over to the Movoy uh, store. And we've got a special link for you, bit.ly slash Movoy Tick Watch. Use that one to jump in. Going to try to get you good discounts. They'll either automatically appear or check the show notes for a discount code. Speaking of which... There's an additional 5% off using this particular code. So no matter what you're doing, put that one in and see if you get an extra 5% off whatever price is there. I hope it works that way. It should. If you don't get that extra 5%, let me know. And we'll correct everything. But uh, this should do it. Or just use this link too. Tick Watch 5 off. And that should pop you over there uh, and automatically seed it with that discount code as well. It's holiday season. Check around. Look at where you could get it for a good price. And um, this will help you support us here at Smartwatch Tick and we appreciate it if you can use our links that's it gang enjoy it's a beautiful watch it's very lightweight um, same basic design as the pro 3 kind of sweaty because i wear it all um, blood oxygen everything and you look at that look at that now the compass is not guaranteed it's a secret easter egg it may or may not be continued in the watch but it's in there right now the band is exquisite this puppy's going to last a long long time you've been watching smart watch ticks we appreciate your subscription and being here and sharing it with your friends and we'll see you again soon thanks for watching